Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. Before we get into today's video where I'm going to be heading off to a charity match in about an hour's time with different YouTubers, different fans to get their opinion because I don't want to just give mine and what you see on social media. A lot of people seeing all this Eddie Howe out stuff and then people are backing him and this, that, you know, I want to get a good broad view here. So there'll be quite a few people at this charity match for a good cause for the Alan Shearer Foundation. You've got a load of mag. You've got Newcastle Fans TV, Adam, Josh, loads of them. So I'm going to try and get a quick chat with all of them and other fans that might be there in attendance to see how they really feel about Eddie House. So that is the topic of today's video. We'll get into that in just a few minutes. But before that, we'll start off my traditional Friday video, which is a little bit the press conference reaction and, of course, an eye towards West Ham. Tomorrow's massive game at St. James Park. Lunchtime kickoff. Can't wait to be back at St. James's. Back in Premier League action after this stinking international break. Bad news after bad news. Make sure you check out the Tonali video that I did yesterday. During the week we talked about Louis Miley's injury. Let's see what Eddie Howe had to say on those topics as well. Because he was obviously asked in this morning's press conference on Good Friday. There wasn't much good news to come out really. Well, there may have been. Actually, let's halt, halt the process on that one. Because to be fair, there's a possibility that Barnes, Tino and Trippier could be available tomorrow. So I would take that as a yes, really, from Eddie Howe. You'd hope they would at least be in the squad to play tomorrow. So that is good news, because obviously the questions were, who's going to play at left-back? Will it be Burn again? Obviously it would have been. Could it have been Hall? Targets might be fit again now, up and running, ready to go. So there was different options there. There was different uh, things that Eddie Howe could have done. Would have tripped Arantino back. That's amazing news. And um, Obviously Harvey Barnes as well. We're yet to see the best of him. All season, at all, after spending nearly £40 million on him, from Leicester, so it'd be good for him to get a good run of games as well. Eddie Howe, the one of the bad news, did speak about Louis Miley, saying he had that back injury on uh, England under-20s duty. They need to seek specialists for that and see what the crack is going forward, how long he's actually going to be out for. The initial rumours was that it was going to be six to eight weeks. We need to really get to the bottom of that and discover the extent of his injury. Now, he also talked on Sven Botman, who hit the headlines last week, that he'll be out for obviously up to nine months with that ACL injury. How revealed that Botman actually didn't want to get the operation, so it was down to him really why that operation didn't go ahead. Specialists on Botman were saying mixed things, some were saying he needs the operation, some were saying he didn't. So Sven himself chose not to, according to how, and then long term, obviously, that's backfired. On that, I will say you should take it away from the player and he should be told what to do, basically, because he's probably not, like most of us, one going to go under the knife and have surgery, is he? So you probably try and chill out for a couple of months and recover that way. Didn't work out. Should have got the specialist surgery done straight away. But it's easier said than done in hindsight, isn't it? Uh, we're not going to dwell on that anymore. On the Sandro Tonali stuff, Eddie Howe has said this on your screen there now. Basically saying he doesn't see the benefit of extending the ban. He hopes that it doesn't. Obviously, the latest reports that it's probably going to co coincide with the, the Italian FA ban, so he won't get it extended, but that's not that's not being confirmed yet. Howe is obviously saying there, listen, his illness didn't stop when he came from Italy to England. So... That's the thing there, and it's true. So we'll wait and see on Tonali. I thought it was good, strong back in there from Eddie Howe for his player, and, and hopefully that ban isn't extended because that would be absolutely stinking. Anything else to come out of the press conference this morning? I think that's briefly the main part because I say I want to get into the main topic of the video. Just quickly on West Ham, I will be doing a vlog and a match reaction tomorrow. Can't wait to be at the game. I'll also be on TNT Sports before the game, so make sure you tune in there, build up. If you're in the pub or, or mainly in the in the house, if you're not at the game. So excited for tomorrow. Really can't wait. Everyone's having a class Easter weekend. And that will be class if we manage to beat West Ham, which is a massive game. It really is. That race for Europe will have to win tomorrow. Will do for me to close that gap. That will be one point gap difference to seventh place West Ham. That Europa League position is well and truly up for grabs. And that will be a big deal if we can get that win tomorrow. And we should. We're at home. Eddie Howe has said, you know, it's really important. We're at home. We've got to come back off that you know Wolves 3-0 win last time we are at St James's so which feels like ages ago but we've got to come come off the fresh of that as well and carry that run going at home make St James's a fortress again if we ought to finish this season strong Eddie Howe says that's important we're going to go all out attacking these 10 games to try and get European football so that's what we're going to hear let's hope for that's what happens I'll get you my score prediction there now nice and early I'll go for a 2-1 win listen it's not going to be easy with the likes of Mayley and stuff being out that midfield still suffering but Get the ball to Isaac up front. Hopefully he can do something with it. Get a goal. And overall, that sounds a bit like Cup Cup Magic special. I don't know. Get the ball like Bru Brucey. Get the ball Alan St. Maximum. But I mean, Isaac needs to be fit. Score them goals. Hopefully Bonds can come back. Bruno isn't knackered after international duty with Brazil and that. And uh, 
we'll get the win 2-1 for me because this and West Ham are a mixed bag. You don't know what you're going to get with them. Some weeks they win 3-0, they get beat 3-0. They've still got dangerous players though. Paketar, Bowen, Kudos. Don't know how they're getting on. There was a couple of doubts over the legs of Kudos as well. So this and West Ham at home. If we want to be serious, we want to close the gap on 7th, get in the Europa League mix, three points tomorrow is a must. Let's get into the topic of the video now then. I'm going to fly, not literally, just going to drive to the game there that is in Forest Hall for the charity match. Let's see how everyone's feeling, what everyone's saying about Eddie Howe and his future at Newcastle United. But before we do that, check out Stakemate. I'm giving you an Easter gift and that is a free £5 bet with our new betting partner, Stakemate. All you have to do is click the link in the description to get a free £5 bet and again, an additional free £5 bet, you can use the code MAGPIE5. Stakemate is a straightforward, simple and easy betting app to use that lets you share your bets with your mates and win together. Brand new feature from Stakemate and that is squads. Instead of messing around and sending screenshots and bets to different people on different apps, you can do it all in one place on Stakemate. You can share your bet on there in the squad section, add friends to the group as well and have a bit of chat and crack in there about your bets on the weekend. You see my bet here on the screen, I've went for that fourfold, and there's my squads. Now we're going to build our squad up, I've just put that out there. So me and Taylor, Jordy Rick are in that squad. Here's his bet, he has my bet, and we've compared those. I tell you what, Taylor's a little bit luckier than me, man, so he's probably got a win in there over me. But it's good that we can compare, have a bit of crack with each other's bets in that squad's chat, and see who comes out on top. Maybe we can copy each other's bet. Taylor fancies main, he could also win along with me, you could also win along with your mates. Remember, Stakemate is doing a limited time offer. If you sign up to the app, you get a free £5 bet. Link is in the description. And then you can also add my code MAGPIE5 to get an additional free £5 bet. What a way to kickstart your Easter weekend. And remember, Stakemate is a gambling app, so you must be 18 plus to play. And remember, gamble responsibly. Yes, Pete over here with the main man, Adam P, number one goal poacher, ahead of the charity match. Got Newcastle fans TV warming up the background there, looking shite, so we'll pump them. Adam, question for you. Is Eddie Howe really under pressure and would you sack him? Well, I think the managers are always going to be under pressure. Um, straight away, you've got to look at Newcastle's season. There's a lot of factors you've got to look into. I'm definitely a Howe defender. You've got to look at the Tenari suspension. You've got to look at everything injury-wise, just everything that's been happening with the team this season. But there always is going to be pressure, I think, especially with the PAF. You know, one bad season straight away, they'll be on your back. But, nah, sure, surely he's here next season. I think you're meant to. If anyone wants him out now, if anyone's going to say it anyhow, they're going to sack him at the end of the season, bring someone else in. No chance uh, for me straight away. Uh, how someone that... I think Bobby Robson's a decent example as well from 20 years ago when it's a case where at the time you feel like you want to sack a manager, you do it, and all of a sudden we've been pulled after that. And Eddie Howe is someone that's been able to get it. A team that at the time was nowhere near Champions League level, and he's actually gotten to a consistent spot in the league, got to a, um, obviously a Champions League qualification. If you look at this year, it does dictate when you can finish. It's huge the last few games. You've got to make sure to try and get some form of European football, especially when you look at the likes of Bruno and Sack. You want to keep your big players next season. But uh, regardless, even if it's a whole way and you finish 10th for someone, you've got to back out one more season, I feel like. If you ask me this question one year from now, I might give you a different answer, but for mm. now, Matty, you've got to back him one more year. We'll see how things go, but no, you've got to give him some time and some uh, energy, I guess. Okay, thank you so so we're joined here by Jordy, Josh, and the question is the same to you, mate, in terms of, you know, you see these things online about Eddie Howe's future and stuff, a couple of people unhappy about it. What do you make of it? For me personally, mate, look, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm Eddie Howe in all day, every single day of the week, not just because of that sentimental side, what he's done for a Champions League Cup final, of course, we haven't had them things in a very long time. He hasn't had that much to work with. Look, I said this on a recent talk show, if you take a look at what's happened on paper, bottom of the Champions League group, albeit it was very, very hard, two quarter finals, the performances haven't been the best, then you actually look at it with a death, all the injuries, I don't want to feel sorry for myself, but the Tonali situation, all that sort of stuff, any manager, and I've seen some people say, well, Jose Mourinho would have done a good job, I don't believe Jose Mourinho could have came into that that season where we were so relegation threat and he could have actually kept up so honestly I'm Eddie Howe win every single day of the week 
kind of what he's done for, but just give him time, just imagine what he could have done this season with all of them players. He would have implemented maybe a kind of plan B, and if that actually does get implemented in Newcastle, I think some fans will feel that he's a lot more secure at Newcastle United. Perfect, cheers, mate. Right then, we've actually got an expert opinion for a change. One of us daft YouTubers, we've got the journalists. We've got Jordan here from Newcastle World, normally in the press conference with Eddie Howe. Uh, Jordan, the question everyone asks is pretty much the same, you know, you see these things online about Eddie Howe being under pressure. Do you think he really is under pressure? Could you see the ownership potentially acting? No, he's not under pressure. Well, I think it's been a very difficult season, injuries, everything else. You want to look at cup ties, etc. It feels like a season where everything's gone against Newcastle. I think the ownership recognise that. I think Eddie Howe will be given to the end of the summer to get more signings in, hopefully be backed. And from then on as well, I think they'll expect an improvement on next season. But on this season, sorry, but as we as we sit here now, is Eddie Howe under pressure? Absolutely not. He is the man that these, this, these owners want uh, to lead this football club for a, for a lot of years to come. What do you make of the, the things that you see? I know it's, it's take with a pinch of salt, isn't it? The things you see on Twitter and stuff, but a lot of the, it's been very reactionary lately, hasn't it? On Eddie Howe and the situations he's been dealt with and talks of, you know, oh, we should replace and get Mourinho in, that type of thing. What do you make that? What kind of vibe do you get from the club when you're there at the training ground and stuff? Yeah, I mean, from the fan base, it's, it's a very emotional fan base, isn't it? We all want success as quick as possible. And I think this season, given the highs of last season, has probably been a disappointment. Um, but from then, do, do Newcastle need to make a change? Absolutely not. As I say, the feeling with inside the football club is Eddie Howe is absolutely, absolutely the man. Um, talk of Jose Mourinho, I think his stock's probably fallen in, in recent years, to be honest. Um, Mourinho, look, he's a serial winner, but should we be talking about him? I think it's quite disrespectful, Eddie Howe. He's done, he's done so so good of a job for this football club in such a short space of time. I think the season, again, has been a disappointing one, but next season will be the one where hopefully Newcastle United improve significantly and then, uh, you know, challenge the, the top places again. All right, nice one. Thanks for your time, mate. Don't worry, lads. Yeah, it's nice season too, boys. We are with the arch rivals for today johnny from newcastle fans tv is the rumor true you've got losers medals ready for today johnny yeah yeah we're just we're just getting them sized up for yourselves look at the arrogance no 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 seriously it's just a bit of fun isn't it but it's all for a fantastic cause it is mate how many charity events we've done ah, quite a few mate so. well done for putting it on mate well done it's okay he's up he's the man behind the scenes doing all the graft and stuff but johnny away from the charity match for just a minute you get a lot of memes online obviously is it, there's loads actually to be fair on the videos and stuff for me the comments especially when i do live streams about oh, eddie how get him out he's, he's reached his seal and all of this sort of stuff your thoughts on that your thoughts on eddie how this season and next he's got too much credit in the bank Rennie, hasn't he and he's if, he, if we're getting to here this season which is still a very very good chance mm. tier quarterfinals champions league football loads of injuries loads of stuff off the pitch where eddie Howe's had to deal with certain stuff if he gets us into europe it's a success for me it really really is and i think he'd be absolutely fine get the full squad back, get rid of a few players, bring in a few players in, have a good pre-season under our belts and then start next season. And there's no reason why Newcastle can't get back into that Champions League contention next season. Obviously, it will be this season. Nice one. Thanks, mate. <laughs> the Americans have came half-time and supplied the beers. <laughs> what a bunch of legends. John, how we doing, mate? And yourself, mate, how we doing? How was the trip over? Right. Doing great, Matty. Doing great. Great good, to see great you, to man. Be here. I, well, it hasn't been so long since you last came, to be fair, John, yeah, has it? I was here in November, like end of November, beginning of December. So I saw Chelsea match, we won. Man United, we won. Yeah. That feels like two minutes ago, not, not a few months ago. Two different Californians. Ah, yeah. you have. Yeah, I wear so Carl this time. Yeah. I wear shade. Yeah. 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 yeah, I brought my good friend Dan now. Well, we've got a quick question for you both, right? Because you see sure. a lot online about Eddie House, saying, oh, you know, but is he under pressure? Certain fans are getting a bit um, worn thin with him. Even though when I speak to fans in person, it seems otherwise. Are you still fully behind Eddie Howe? Yeah, I am, yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah? I think he's got enough credit in the bank. I, yeah? You know, I, I, think, I think we can all agree that we're probably 18 months ahead of schedule mm. in terms of the project, right? Um, and I don't think anybody was expecting the amount of injuries that we've had to deal with. You know, that we... we what was it? The last, what one? The last game or the game that we played the FA Cup game? Sven Botman yeah, and well, everything well, else. Now. Yeah. No, but I mean, look at the look at the side. You got six guys that were with us when we came up. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. So we field. haven't had yeah. we haven't had a chance to to refresh the squad yet, and that's no knock against any of them. Mm -hmm. Look at what Eddie Howe's done with them. Mm -hmm. You know, look at what he's done with yeah, you know, Lascelles, and look at what he's done with you know Joe Linton. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I, no, I think he's got plenty of credit in the bank. Yeah, and I think uh, you're trying to build a stable enterprise. I mean, that's what this whole takeover was about, and that's part of it. 
you don't just willy nilly fire coaches. I don't want to look like Chelsea, mm -hmm. who went through five, six coaches in the last, you know, year. last couple mm -hmm. of years. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fully behind the guy. You got to give him a chance. I mean, he's there for I would, I would argue. How long did it take Fergie to get Man United to where they are? So, yeah. Exactly. He was under pressure for about three years before exactly. he actually started doing anything. So. Yep. Yeah. We're in the camp of, no, we're, we're strictly behind him. Yep. Eddie. I think, I think he's proven he he's do, he's doing a lot of things this season that he's never done before. Exactly, you know, he's playing. And everything. He's playing in Europe for the first time. Yeah. He's having to contend with four, you know, battling on four different fronts. You know, mm -hmm. the league, two domestic cups, and and the Champions League, all with a squad that he hasn't had access to. Mm -hmm. And you know? the league's changing rules along the way. You know, it's hurting mm -hmm. us more than other teams. So. No, I've been, did I've anybody been see the, the Tenali band coming? Exactly. Yeah. Maybe others did, but we certainly didn't. Yeah. No. All right. Cheers, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Matt, hey, thanks, man. Nice, yep. Well, we lost the charity match. Devastating. Some dodgy calls. Johnny and Goal. Too good. But I've got the real trophy right here. Pulled the cord as well. <laughs> Great. See you later.